today we're going to be looking at installing a unity post mount spotlight. Um, these are the same ones that they have like on cop cars. Uh, cool little lights are able to like kind of go down out of the way and then come up and then turn. You can do this all from the inside. I like this better than the uh, just normal post mount lights that you can buy on most websites. Uh, you can get these on eBay or from unity.com. Uh, make sure you get the right mounting brackets for a Jeep. Uh, but these are awesome. These are great. I'm going to show you guys how I install it onto this uh, post. We're going to be drilling a half inch hole in my brand new A-pillar. Um, you actually drill a half inch hole straight in, but I'm going to show you guys how this is all done and they have a pretty good system. This is the pattern for the Jeep. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put it here. We're going to pop in a couple uh, center punches here to drill at eighth inch holes. Here's the mounting bracket. This is going to go about there. Um, and then we're going to drill a half inch hole through this to the inside. Um, and there is a gasket that goes around the back side. But this will line up. If you read it, it talks about place along your windshield and along this bra brace down here. And that's where you're going to center punch two holes. So, so that'll line up. So, I'm going to go ahead and pop these holes in right now, make sure it's good to go. And that one came out good. And one more. And there's our two center punches. We're going to drill eighth inch holes through that. All right, now we're going to put eighth inch holes through those center punches we just put. Clearly the guy didn't line the holes up perfectly, um, but it will still work. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. Tighten this one up a little bit. Now the reason I didn't put the gasket in because we're gonna go ahead and now, we're gonna use this as a guide to drill the half inch hole through the A-pillar. All right, uh, as you guys see, I put in the bracket um, and I put in uh, this guide it comes with, it's this metal guide, this allows you to drill the half inch hole perfectly center. Uh, you can see the guide goes perfectly over a half inch bit and then fits inside of the bracket. This is just an extra one I have. Um, you don't do a pilot hole. You go straight for the half inch, right through your A-pillar, which is scary. Um, you pretty much just line it up, and go in and then just drill. It recommends taking out the um, plastic insides. I did that last time and actually there was no reason for me to on the orange one, on my orange Jeep. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just go for it. Um, this is kind of scary because <clears throat> be careful when you do it. Go slow. I, you know, fast on the drill, but don't push too hard. Kind of go in slow. Because um, it, it likes to catch the metal. And then once it catches the metal, it likes to bend things. So you got to be real careful with it. So we're going to drill in. So we've gone ahead and actually drilled the uh, half inch hole all the way through, um, all the way to the inside, as you can possibly maybe see in the camera there, the light. Um, bracket came on good. Uh, I got it in here, I'm just going to kind of test the fit of the uh, light right now. Um, and then I'm going to take it off and actually paint it black, because I don't like chrome. And so any chrome on my Jeep turns black. But here's the light, it's going to slide inside the hole here, hopefully. There we go. And you can see it came all the way through into the Jeep. And then the, uh, the handle here. Get ready to go. This is now going to kind of, it's kind of hard to get on there, but it does. Kind of got like a little notch in there that has to line up perfectly. It's kind of a pain, but once you get it on there, you're good to go. Come on. Okay, 
goes. All right, but now we're on. And then you tighten this up. that then you also then tighten the screw up here not too tight and then now you have control of the light inside the vehicle you can turn it and then bring it down and now you have a position of light from inside your car um, and when the doors are on like I said you can still control it from the inside what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it off, paint it black, run a power wire. It just needs one wire. It just needs positive. It gets its ground from the, the mount, um, from the bracket here. It gets it from the body of the vehicle. So all you need to do is put a positive wire on it, and it has a switch right on the light. I'll do that real quick, paint it, get it back installed, and show you guys how it works. All right, guys, we have it all installed, painted black, and looks great. Uh, it's actually been a few months since I first did the uh, videos, and I just edited them all up. Now I'm just finishing it now, along with a couple other ones I just uploaded. So here's a Unity post mount spotlight. As you can see, I can move it from the inside of the Jeep. You can pan and tilt. There's a little bit of water in it. I just got out of the rain. Uh, and turn it on. As you can see here, light up whatever you want. It's pretty bright. Uh, looks good. I prefer this way over the other pillar mount lights. Uh, I just think this is kind of a more useful tool. So instead of just shining in front of you, you can point it wherever you want. Um, home just about almost anywhere you want well guys thanks for checking out my video of the unity post mount spotlight um, I appreciate all the views and comments you guys give if you don't mind subscribe check out my other videos I'm always posting new stuff as well um, if you subscribe you'll actually get some uh, notifications of the new stuff I have on um, everything from Jeeps gaming systems uh, Arduino mods anything I do I usually try to post for you guys and have you guys check it out um, uh, you guys can tweet me uh, you can hit me up at, at Eddie Zarek um, also my website edsjunk.net all my info is there guys there's uh, pictures and stuff especially on this that describes it all if you guys want to send me an email you can do it right from there um, yeah guys thanks for checking it out and uh, have a great day